Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Sue. Hi, Marie and Suzanne. Hello. Uh, hi, Michelle and Susie and Lindsay. Hi, Emma, Sarah. Hi, Jutta. Hello, 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 hello. Um, hello, Natalie. Hi, Bronnie. Hi, Lisa. How is everybody? Are we okay? Hi. <laughs> Come in, come in, come in. It's Sunday. I feel like I've had a quite a nice relaxing weekend. Um, this weekend. No sound. Can you not hear me? Sue, thank you for the stars. Would you like to see how I do the um, ceiling? It's long, but I can do a quick tutorial. Oh. <laughs> I actually got the bits behind me because I was, um, we had movie night last night and uh, with the movie night, I spent the whole time of the movie cutting the fabric to size. <laughs> so the kids were like, we want to turn the lights off. So we turned the lights down low, but I needed it on so I could cut it. Um, I made it. So I'm going to be carrying it on and going across. Um, but I just haven't had the time. So if I show you, okay, if I just pop you on uh, donated oysters just while I grab, because they're just behind me. Um, so if I grab one of those. Uh, oh, runaway baubles. I don't need lots across the floor. Oh, one of those. Um, yeah, I'll just show you that bit. Okay, so... Let me grab a piece of fabric. Okay, so what I do to make the ceiling <laughs> is you grab a bauble. So I've gone with purple and silver. Um, <clears throat> now a lot of these were leftover baubles or baubles that um, I actually managed to um, sort of get donated if you like, family and friends. <laughs> so I've gone for different shades of purple and silvers. So just grab your bauble and I've used organza fabric. So the organza fabric uh, comes in a roll about yay thick. <laughs> so it comes in a roll and I've literally just been cutting it. I mean, I suppose you could measure it to make less waste if you like, but it's not waste because I'm still using it. Um, but I've just, I haven't been doing, measuring it because it will just take too long. So I've just been cutting it by eye to a rough piece. I then fold it in half, in half again, in half again, and in half again to cut the end off, which will then give you the circle in the center. Uh, I then fold across the four corners and cut to give you holes in the four corners. Then you just take the top of the bauble off. So it's like a little catch. Take that off. I then pop the middle in uh, not all of my corners are dead set corner because I got a little bit. So normally I, I rest it on like a, a pot, if you like, that sit the bauble in so it's not as fiddly. So basically I'm just grabbing the corners over, folding them across and putting them through the centre section. So the hole goes over the centre section. Like I say, it's a lot easier if you put the bauble down. And then once they're all over, you just grab the lid, push it back on, then pull this out. Then, <laughs> so you ended up like this, but then because that spreads out way too much and from underneath, because obviously it's going on my ceiling, um, that to me, I'm not 100% happy with. So and then I've been getting the hot glue gun and with this one, I'd glue gun around this just before it gets wider and then obviously pop, push it. Again, when it's on a pot, it's easier. Push it down, so then it gives that effect, so then it stays, so it's like that. Okay, so then obviously as you hold it, it's like that. I've then got a piece of like, it's gold, like elastic, and I've tied these on around every five, six centimeters to this elastic, and then clipped on <laughs> the lights onto the elastic as well, and then I've popped, obviously, so they've been in rows, and then I've popped those up. 
<laughs> so there's a lot to do for my ceiling but i'm i'm loving it and i think it's going to stay up past christmas because i don't i think it can pass if we change like this section i still think this section is going to be looking really good in my own opinion so yeah the rest of the ceiling will be getting done it just as you can see it's a very long process um, and obviously orders do come first so i sort of do that in my in my own time if you like it is a lot of work it's a labor of love but yeah i am loving it i do i do love it okay so <laughs> um shall we get started for today quick tutorial there yeah i think i will keep it yeah because i think it's gonna be good i do it's a lot of glue gun sticks though which i didn't expect <laughs> With all that oh bless you natalie T i'll tell you what if you actually if you do it like i got i got in the zone of it um and i'm just whipping them out so as soon as you sort of get in the zone i put an audio book on time flies by right so today <laughs> um today uh it is the last of our goodie bags today so if you would like to grab a goodie bag, last chance is today, because after today they will be going off the website um, and we'll be doing our, we'll be getting ready our next event. So inside the goodie bags are items of jewellery where you'll then have a picky pearl with it, which is basically three pearls in a bag um, and you get to keep two of the pearls which are in there. Um, also launching today is our naughty or nice cards. So basically, if I just mix the, oh, throw them all over the desk. Basically, you've got our naughty and nice cards. Now, I made these so they're backwards for me, but so they're the right way round for you guys. If I grab a couple. Okay, so on the front... On the front, it just says naughty or nice, okay. Uh, and then on the back, you either get a naughty, and if it's naughty, that means there's nothing on the back there. Or you get a nice, and with a nice one, that says, oh, it's upside down. That one says one pound off the website. So you get a one pound off code for the website. Now the nice prizes, are all different um, prizes and amounts and variations. So yeah, you get, and you only get these with an item of jewellery. So if your order has jewellery on it, you'll get one of these. If it doesn't have jewellery on it, you don't get one of these. So you just get one per order if the order has got jewellery on it. Okay, so they do start today. You're not a supporter anymore. So Jitta, so what's happened is, um, Facebook have um, sort of done another update as far as I understand it and some supporters um, it's made so it hasn't renewed your um, your supportership if you like because obviously it, it support it renews automatically unless you tell it not to do so it's three pound 49 a month isn't it and it renews like I say unless you tell it not to but the Facebook's sort of done an update where it's not then renewed itself so if you would like to be a supporter, um, please do so, but you will have to sort of go through the motions again um, to do so. And it does move you out of the supporters group as well, Squidgy Pops, if you're not a supporter anymore. So do remember to join that again if you do resubscribe. So I don't know why it's done it. It might sort itself out, Jutta, but I think i think if it hasn't restarted it automatically you have to if you'd like to be you have to go and sort of reignite the subscription does that make sense uh, I, again i'm sorry that it happened it's happened i don't know why it's happened um but yeah so you may have to do that my lovely okay so should we get started for today <laughs> and there is still spaces available so if you would like to order uh, you will be added on for today. Again, new stock in the website and our Black Friday sale goes live to everybody tomorrow. First thing tomorrow morning, it will go live to everybody. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that as well. 
Okay, so up first today is Tony Martin. Tony, are you here? It's not a new Facebook owner, is it? So what Facebook have done is they've changed the, the business name to Meta, Meta, Meta. Um, so the whole company's changed its name to Meta, but all the apps are gonna be staying the same. So Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, are all gonna be keeping their own names. So it's the same owner, as far as I understand. It's just they've changed the, the business name, but like I say, keeping the apps names the same. I'm looking for Tony Martin. Tony, are you here? That's as far as I understand it, Heather. I did have a read into it, so I hope I've understood it correctly. But yeah, they've just changed the top name. But that does mean they've got lots of changes coming, haven't they? They've got so much planned for Facebook. And I mean, I'm, it should be brilliant, but it's gonna be a lot of updates. <laughs> That's right, when you load those apps, it says, for example, Instagram by Meta. Meta, Meta? I think it's Meta, isn't it? Meta, Meta, I'm not sure. Okay, so last call for Tony Martin. Tony, if you're here, please type I'm invisible. It will bring your comment forward so I can see you. And if anybody else can see Tony Martin, please comment on her comments because again, it will bring it forward so I can see. Meta, thank you, Sophie. I thought so. Thank you. I think it will look good. Actually, with the ceiling, do we think it will be too much when it's all the way across? I think it will still look good as long as obviously we've got the lighting still here so it's not too dark. Um, but I think it will look okay. Or do you reckon it will be too, too much? Okay, I haven't seen Tony, so we're going to move on. If she does come on, we can add her in, but it will be to the end of the order list there. Up next then is Dawn Williams. Dawn, are you here? Definitely not too much. That's what I was thinking, you see. <laughs> as long as, like I say, we get the lighting still good, it doesn't make it too dark in here, which I don't think it will. Um, I'm, I'm very excited and like I said I've got it all prepped I've cut all the fabric up now so I just need to pop it on the ball <laughs> uh, Angela okay if you've sent me an email over that's not a problem we should then be able to get back to you tomorrow never too much you all agree with me I'm loving that thank you I'm looking for Dawn Williams Dawn are you here I'm just going to scroll up in case I missed you there. No, I don't think I have. Dawn, again, if you're here, please type I'm... Uh, invisible or bring your comment forward so I can see you and if anyone else sees Dawn please comment on their comment because again it will bring it forward so I can see oh bless you Lisa I've got my flu jab on Thursday and I had my booster last week <laughs> so mine is slightly apart Okay, so I haven't seen Dawn either, so I'm going to move on. If she does come on, we can add her in again, but again, it will be to the end of the order list. Up next is Laura Treat Rodriguez. Laura Treat, are you here? Are 
No, we do have four pearl oysters, Judith. If they're not on the website, I'll have a look to, uh, tomorrow and I'll count them out and update the stock, okay? But we've definitely got them in. I'm looking for Laura Treat. Where is everybody? <laughs> Okay, so I haven't seen Laura, so again, we're going to move on then. If she comes on, we can add her in, but it will be to the end of the order list again. Oh, can you receive it, please? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Aaron, just thank you for the tea. <laughs> um, okay. So up next this evening is Emma Favel. Emma, are you here? Is anybody out there? Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was worried I was going to get through a whole order list then. <laughs> oh. So, Emma, my lovely, you have a goodie bag. You would like a blue goodie bag. Perfect. So, if I bring this forward, we always go for the one that's at the front. So, the front bag here is this one let me just pop that back so in your goodie bag let's go down okay so you have got some earrings emma now these earrings are 95 silver they are hook back earrings now these are a little bit different they haven't gone on the website uh or have they oh they may have gone on the, on the latest new stock but i'm not i don't think they have now these are crystal heart earrings now oh if we can just get it to focus these are larger than the charms so our crystal heart charms so these are larger than the charms and they're slightly smaller than the pendants um, so these are sort of in between size there. So this is a light amethyst colour. Which is a light purple. And these ones, you don't have to have the pearls attached if you don't want to. So if I bring you back up here, if you don't want to have the pearls attached, you don't have to, but you can have them attached as well. So that actually comes with two picky pearls, Emma. So if I dive in here for you, you had one of each coloured out. Oh, bless you. Well, I'm glad you're happy with those earrings. So I'm not looking. You have one, oh, and two. So I can confirm you've got six different colours here. So if we go down again, What do you think? 
to these. So your top row, you've got purple, coral, and autumn peach. And then your bottom row, you've got dark, deep purple, sea green, and light purple. What do you think to these? Now with the top row, you get to pick two, and then of course swap one out. So you, I'd need to let, I, just, I can't, I can't. <laughs> let me start again. I couldn't put a sentence together then. Okay, Emma, with your top row, I'll need to know if you'd like to keep the purple, the coral, or the autumn peach. You get to pick two. What do you think? Which two from the top row would you like? And for the bottom row, again, I'll need to know which two of those you'd like to keep. So with the dark purple, sea green and light purple, I'll need to know with those ones which ones you would like. First row, purple and coral. Second row, dark purple and purple. Okay, so I've taken away the sea green and the autumn peach there. Now with the earrings, Emma, are you having pearls on or off of the earrings? If off, I hope that you're happy with everything there. If on, you can swap one of the pearls to match another if you would like to, to have them on there. I, will, I am just gonna pop these two purples next to each other. So they are slightly different in shade. There's not a lot in it, but they, are, they do have that slight difference there. If I run them through the board for you, Emma, the coral is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. The lightest of the purples, not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. Slightly brighter purples, not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. And then that dark, deep purples, not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he is an 8. What do you think, Emma? What would you like to do? Swap the coral to match the dark purple, please, and have them on the earrings. You can indeed. Let me just have a look to see if I can do this now for you. Um, what am I looking for? Deep dark purple. So we're going to swap the coral. Oh, that's just slightly a bit too large. And that's slightly too small. And we need to find one that's just, <laughs> just right. Did anyone else have Goldilocks in their head then? I just want to see. Oh, I think that one, I'm going to show you that one. I think it's slightly too tonal hang on if i got more of a that's more of a solid okay no we don't need two tonal one i found it found one that matches okay so if i show you these two your one is the one on this side okay so the one i've added in is this one here would you be happy with those my lovely And again, let me just take away that coral. And I'm just going to bring you up here. 
perfect. No, Emma, you're very, very welcome. But then let me just write down that we're going to have dark purple on there. And if I pop these all in here for you. Perfect. And Emma, you get our first naughty of n or nice card of 2021. So I love this Santa basket. Love, love, love it. So as you can see, that all, it doesn't look very many because it's quite a deep basket, but there is loads in there. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold it up because I can't see. And I'm just going to mix them like this because then you can see that I can't see what's going on. So I'm just going to dive in and make sure I've just got the one. Quite big cards, these ones. Okay, so your naughty or nice card. You have a nice card, Emma. You have a £3 off code for the website. So what will happen is tomorrow I'll send over a £3 off code for the website. Um, and it will go to the email address that's on the order form. You'll be able to use it straight away or you can hold on to it because it won't have an expiry date on there. Emma, I hope you're happy with that and I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives as well. No, you're very, very welcome. I've just seen my hair. Please excuse my hair today. I've just shoved it up out of the way. <laughs> uh, up next today is Sharon Lamb. Sharon, are you here? You're very, very welcome, Emma. And Sharon, hello. Sharon, you also have a goodie bag. With your goodie bag, would you like the red, the blue, or the silver? Can you have red? Of course you can. If I again just take the first bag there. Okay, so if we go down your red, there we go. <laughs> go down your red bag in here you have a necklace okay so you have a necklace so if I turn this around now this is called the encrusted butterfly necklace and it is or was on the website. So as you can see, it's quite a nice sized pendant here and it is encrusted, as the name suggests, in zircon crystals there. So the top two wings are hollow. If I just put my glove behind it, you can sort of see you've got the one full wing at the bottom there and the rest you've got these crystals coming through. Uh, now, if you had your pearl on this one, you do have your pearl attached to the top and it will be able to move around at the top there but again with this one you don't have to have a pearl attached if you don't want to so you still get your picky pearl but you, you can choose whether to have a pearl on or off of the jewellery so I hope you're happy with that one and then if I bring you back up so we can do your picky pearl so in with this one here if I dive in And you have, oh, okay. So let's go down with this one and then you can decide what you would like to do, Sharon. So you have a watermelon, if I put them long ways, watermelon, coral, and a purple. Have a look at those there. Bright, deep watermelon, a brighter coral, and a purple. Now, what do you think to these, my lovely? And like I say, um, you can have a pearl on or off of the jewellery there. And I'll need to know with these pearls which two you would like to keep and which one you would like to swap out. 
So you have watermelon, the coral, and the purple. What do you think? Which two pearls would you like to keep? If I measure them for you, keep the watermelon and the purple, perfect. And would you like a pearl on or off of the jewellery? And if on, which colour would you like on? The purple's not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. And your watermelon's not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he is a 7. Okay, Ooh no pearl on the necklace perfect well i hope you're happy with that let me just pop these in here for you and then pop all of the ooh, all of this on here okay and you also get a naughty or nice card so again oh it's a bit high i don't need to hold it so high let me just mix these the watermelon looks very red it is it does it's a really bright watermelon um but it is more of a watermelon color than the red so with your naughty or nice card you have a nice card sharon you have a two pound off code for the website so tomorrow to the email address that's on the order form you'll get sent a two pound off code um, where you can spend that if you would like to order again on the website. You'll be able to use it straight away or you can hold on to it because it doesn't have an expiry date there. Sharon, you're very, very welcome. And I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. Okay. No, you're very welcome, my lovely. I'm just going to move. Sorry, I've got a... Um, so, there we go. Something under the desk. I couldn't put my foot where I wanted it to go. Right, up next today is Angela Underwood. Angela, are you here? Excuse me. I'll have a sip of my tea in a moment. <laughs> Uh, Bronnie, no, I, I haven't. I can't. Um, I'll email you, Bronnie. But no, I, I, I can't. Angela, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Angela, you also have a goodie bag today. With your goodie bag. Oh, what's happened? Um... Okay, I'm just going to put the goodie bags down a moment. Angela, you said you'd like a red, but I'm not going to grab it for a moment because, um, what's happened to this camera? Yes, it's split for me, Kaylee, which means it will split for all of you. Oops, let me call Aaron in. Yeah, the, the down camera's back. The camera's having a moment. It is. <laughs> okay. So we're going to carry on, Angela, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring forward the bags and pop them here. So I'm just going to, you've said that you'd like a red bag, Angela. So we're going to pull this front red bag for you. So that is your one there. And then if I pop these back again. And if we get this open for you. Okay, so in here you have a bracelet, Angela. Now this is, I believe it's called the petal bracelet on the website. Okay, so if I show you, you've got this petal or leaf, if you like, on this side, which is encrusted with zircon crystals. And on the other side here, on that pin, a pearl sits on there. 
so then it just sits as a bangle now it can move slightly so you can um, pop it on to your wrist so you've got the leaf on that side it's this 925 silver and then the pearl sits on the opposite side there I hope you're happy with that one Angela so that one does come with one picky pearl and I'll need to know which pearl you would like on that section there okay so Da -da. nope um hang on wait does it mean moving in the background no let me see if i can fix this we're going to go on to oyster view for a second just so i can give the camera a moment so i can restart so andrew if you just bear with me a second i'm just going to restart this camera i think um um i think it's that one then Aaron must be with the kids, you see. I don't want to interrupt him if he's helping the kids out. Um. Ever so sorry. I'm just having a look. I'm trying to work out. It is that one. Oh, two seconds. Aaron. I don't. I don't know if you guys are going to hear me, but I'm actually just going to run to the house to grab him. Um, I think the mic's attached to me, so you might be able to hear me. I don't know how far this can this can travel. Okay, so coming back in now. And I've got Aaron here. So again, I'm just going to stay on the oyster view for a moment. Um, just because then it gives the camera a chance to restart. The camera's gone to split screen, Bob. We're still on microphone. It's on an oyster view, so they can't see us just yet. Just so the camera, you can... I've unplugged it. I've plugged it back in. Oh, how did you do that? Double click on it, deactivate and then reactivate. Oh! oh to be fair, when you click on the button for deactivate, it's also there. <laughs> you need to sh I need to learn that. Oh my God, thank you so much. So how do you right, do it? on the camera. Right, which, whatever, whichever I'm on, one I'm the camera on, is. Okay, so you want this one. Okay, so click on that. Yeah. Deactivate. And then activate. Oh my gosh, that's so simple. Refreshes the... <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Wow. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he fixed it. Oh, I thought that was going to be a long fix and everything. I was unplugging everything, plugging it all back in. I ran to the house. <laughs> Could you guys hear me when I ran to the house? I haven't tested the length on how far this microphone goes. Because um, it's a lapel one, obviously. It's got, I've got like the battery pack attached to me. Yeah, so could you still hear me? Did they get okay right angela let's carry on <laughs> so oh you're i just got <laughs> that was so easy i'm gonna need to remember how to do that right your picky pearl you could hear me it does go quite far then i might have to test that one day and like run down the street and see if you can <laughs> we'll try the other side of the house first see if you can hear me okay so angela Shall we go back? You'd go, to, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that, Sophie. <laughs> Angela, let's get your picky pals. Okay, so again, I'm sorry that that just happened, guys. Um, but now I know how to fix it. It should be an easy thing if it ever happens again. <laughs> right, look at these. Now, what I'm actually going to do with these ones, because that middle one is two tonal, I'm just going to pop them on here for you, Angela. So I'm going to need to know which two of these 
you would like to keep and then of course the other one will get donated and then which one of the ones you pick would like on the jewellery. Now let me just get this to focus then I'm just going to go around the pearls here because like I say yeah the middle one's the one I want to show you because it is a, like a two tonal colour sorry I'm just getting it to focus on this board here uh, you could fit a lobster fitting on the bracelet um, of course it, it, it would then move around the bangle I mean it wouldn't come off either end because the pearls on one side and the, the petals on the other um, but so I suppose you could fit a lobster on there if you wanted to I'm sorry, Angela. I'm just trying to get it to focus. It doesn't want to. Somebody said if I don't have my gloves in, does that work? Oh. Okay. Nope. Okay, so I'm just going <sighs> to... Right, let's do it this way and I'll just hopefully work it with the... Uh... So you've got a rose gold. Is this going to focus? So we've got a rose gold here. You've got this two-tonal silvery purple pinkle. So it's definitely got pink in it, it's got silver in it, and it's got purple in it. He's lovely. And then you've got this dark, deep burgundy red as well. I'm sorry I can't show you on the board. It just doesn't want to focus. But you can see them there. Now, so I'll need to know which two of these you would like to keep. And then from that, which one of those you would like on the jewellery, my lovely? That mi it is Berta. That's quite an unusual. Um, it's quite an unusual colour tone that one to have all three there. the red and the two-tone you can indeed let me measure them for you and then which one of those would you like on the jewelry my lovely so the two-tone silvery purple is not a five not a 5.5 not a six he's a 6.5 and then the red is not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 he is a seven No, don't be, it's not thick at all, Laura. So um, lobster fitting is like a clip-on fitting. It's like a clasp fitting. So you can clip it onto bracelets and onto um, like key rings and stuff like that. What do you think? Can you have the two tone on the jewellery and the and the red one made to then fit on this bracelet? So you'd like the two tonal purple set at the top of the bracelet. So you've got the petal and then the pearls on the other side. So you'd like the purple there, and then you'd like the red on a lobster fitting, which means you can clip it onto this section. Like I say, it will be able to move all the way round because, but it won't be able to get off of the ends and then you'll be able to unclip it again so just confirm if that's correct Angela so the purple on the bracelet and the red on a lobster fitting
Yes, Jitter, I can see that you're a supporter again. Did you have to re um resubscribe or did it just sort of sort itself out? Angela, yes, okay, perfect. So I've got that down for you. Uh, that invoice will get sent through tomorrow to the email address that's on the order form um, for the lobster fitting, okay? So that'll get sent through tomorrow. Uh, if we do your naughty or nice card, so again, I just pick them up, I don't know if you can see, I just pick them up and sort of drop them in because then it just, not that I look in anyway, but it just mixes them. Okay, so you have this one here and I can never know which way up because it's backwards for me. I'll get used to it. <laughs> your naughty or nice card. You also have a nice card. You have a two pound off code for the website. So if you would like to order in the future, you'll have a two pound off code that you'll be able to use. You'll be able to use it straight away or it doesn't have an expiry, so you can hold on to it if you would like to as well. Angela, that will get sent through tomorrow as well to the email address that's on the order form, okay. That's safe up there for you and I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. Angela, you're very, very welcome. Now, I haven't done this for a while on the live, but I need to blow my nose. <laughs> So I just need to give a little warning um, or I can mute myself. I'm going to mute myself while I blow my nose or is that taking the fun away? I don't know. On this occasion I'm just... Is that taking the fun away? <laughs> I normally do. I used to do a warning and everything. I feel kind of like I've, I've um, <laughs> I've cheated you out of it. <laughs> Does that sound weird? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Should I have? Should I have muted myself or not? I don't know. Did you hear it? <gasps> How? How did you hear it? I muted myself. <laughs> I've cheated you all. Okay, on the next one I won't. I won't cheat you. <laughs> can you how can you hear it? Ah! <laughs> I honestly <laughs> I should have given a warning and then I'm sorry. <laughs> For those of you who didn't who who were new you won't have a clue what we're on about, and I'm sorry for that. Oh. Okay, okay, I've read your comments, I've taken it on board. I want to give an official apology for cheating you out of hearing me blow my nose. I will not mute on the next one. <laughs> Right, shall we carry on? <laughs> oh, that tickled me. <laughs> oh, um, oh, up next is Lindsay Kinlock. <laughs> oh, right, sorry, let me come back to you, come back. Lindsay, hello. Picky Pearl with your jewellery. With your jewellery, my look. I don't have jewellery here. Let me just have a look, just see. Have you ordered again? If not, have I missed something? Let me just refresh this, though. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Um... Sorry, I've got to check both the platforms. Oh, is this you? Ah, Lindsay. Okay, bear with me a moment. Let me just print this off and then we can do that. So you'd like a picky pearl for your jewellery and then you have a normal oyster as well. Is that correct, my lovely? If so, we'll do your picky pearl first and then we'll do the oyster opening afterwards. Uh, I'm just printing this off so I can't see the comments for a moment. 
um, sorry, when I'm doing like 15 different things, the computer doesn't always want to keep up with me. Okay. The Squidgy Pop Shop. Yeah, no, that's fine. I've found you here. Hang on, same name. Same address. That's perfect. So, just com no, no, it's not confusing at all. So, picky pearl with the jewellery. So, we'll do that first. Then, you've got a normal oyster. We'll do that with the um, in a moment. So, if we dive in here, so this is for your jewellery, my lovely. It is the last night for our goodie bags today. So let's go down so you can have a look at these. Similar colours to what we've had today. Now with, with our bags, we actually don't have any two of the exact same, but these are all sort of similar shades. Now I haven't topped this bag up since uh, for a little while because I put so many in there. So if you have a look here, Lindsay, you've got the light purple, dark blue, and then a watermelon. What do you think to these? So I'll need to know which two of these you would like to keep. And then if you would like one on the jewellery, which one of those you'd like on the jewellery. Again, with your um, jewellery, you don't have to have the pearl on there if you don't want to. So that is going to be completely up to you, my lovely. But if we start with which two of these you'd like to keep. Light purple, darker TARDIS blue, and then a watermelon. run away if I um, okay so unless anybody knows Mark I wouldn't advise sending friend requests to people you don't know Mark if you're listening I'm not being offensive it's just it's not the platform to ask that sort of thing on here okay Dark blue and light purple to keep, perfect. And then dark blue on the jewellery, perfect, Lindsay. So if I run these through the board, the purple is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, he's a 6.5. And the blue is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he is a seven. So I'm just gonna bring you up here. And if I pop these on here for you, and then if I write down that you'd like the blue on there. They're doing really well, thank you, Kirsty. I hope you're well as well. So blue on there. And then Lindsay, like I say, you've got that normal oyster. Uh, would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? And is there certain colours that you're hoping for? So your normal oyster, let me get him open. Kovu is, he's just, yeah, he's just, I love, I love him so much. <laughs> Kovu's my dog, I do, I love him so, so much. Okay, so this is your normal oyster. Now we do have a slight crack at the top here, so hopefully I'll keep it, uh, the shell together as we open him. Donate the shells and you're hoping for a natural darker colour. Okay, so let me open this up for you. There's one side and the other side. And in here, I can see straight away that you're twinning. And you're twinning with two, I think they're slightly different shades of twins actually.
So, you have a rose gold and a lavender. So two slightly different shades, but they are coming out as obviously the twins there. Now, if you're happy with these, Lindsay, that's perfect. If you're not happy, uh, I can swap them for you. Now, this lavender, he is slightly two tonal, so I'm just gonna show you around the pearl. So as you can see, it just goes slightly lighter and darker there. And then again, I'll show you the rose gold as well. So that rose gold just goes slightly lighter and darker. What do you think to these? Now, if I run them through the board, you've got a five, this is the rose gold, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, he's a 7.5. And the lavender is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, he's a 7.5 as well. It does, Kirsty. It does, but Lindsay, what do you think to those? Just going to bring you up for a second. I am going to request, I know, um, but I am going to request no spoilers because I myself watch I'm a Celeb. I normally watch it the day after because I'm obviously I'm live. <laughs> um, so I do ask for no spoilers, and as well, viewers. Um, may again they may be tuned in here because they might not be able to watch it there and then but then they'll be doing it on catch up so i know that celeb is um ve a, sorry a very popular program so if we can sort of say no spoilers of what's happening that night if possible that would be great um obviously if things happen it happens but yeah just if we can do that <laughs> so we can try keep it as a not a surprise but a, a, a good watch for everyone else they want to watch it the first time does that make sense Lindsay? you love them they are unusual combination they are unusual and i'm glad you're happy with them there let me pop them in here and on here so Lindsay, i hope you're happy with that then and i hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives thank you very much for the donations of your shells uh, and you also have a naughty or nice card so again i'm just gonna mix them i don't know i don't need to mix them again i'm just okay so if i grab one which way round is it is it this way nope i keep getting it wrong <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's backwards for me i'll get used to it if i try to remember red at the top green at the bottom then i can't go too far wrong so your naughty or nice card you actually have a naughty card with that one Lindsay. so that does mean that there's nothing on the back of that one there but i do hope you're happy with that my lovely and i hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives and that's safe up there for you um so tony uh i will add you into the end of the order list okay perfect up next this evening is julie adams julie are you here Oh, Marie, bless you. Thank you for the stars. What channel's the Adele thing on? I didn't realise Adele... I didn't realise the audience of Adele was today. Um, Shusha. <laughs> I didn't realise that was today. Maybe I can catch that on Catch Up. Because I love Adele. I, went, I was actually planning to go and see her in concert. But it was one of the times that she had to then cancel. I was gutted. Um, I haven't booked it again. ITV, yeah, I should be able to get that on like ITV. Or what? I don't know what the app's called. Is it just ITV catch up? Guys, don't click on links or anything. Um, I 
I'm looking for Julie Adams. I think I've shushed that person. I'm not sure. She is. She's amazing, isn't she? Okay, yeah. I, yeah, ITV Hub. That's the one. Yeah, I'll be able to catch that tomorrow. So it looks like tomorrow I have an ITV day. <laughs> With Celeb and Adele. Fun, fun. I'm looking for Julie Adams. Julie, are you here? If so, um, please type I'm invisible or bring your comment forward so I can see you. And if anybody sees Julie Adams, please comment on her comments because it will bring it forward so I can see. I'd love to go see Adele though. Maybe in the future. I don't think I'd go at the moment. That's just me personally. Okay, so last call for Julie Adams. If not, we'll move on. Julie Adams, are you here? Thank you, Emma. Okay, so I haven't seen Julie, so like I say, we're gonna move on. If she does come on, we can add her in, but it will be to the end of the order list. Up next then is Claire Barron. Claire, are you here? Claire Barron, are you here? Where is everybody today? We had quite a few at the start who wasn't here either. Hmm. Busy Sunday nights. Claire, yes. Okay, so Claire, you've got two openings all together. What two oysters would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? What do you think? Thank you, Gemma. It is. I've got two of these buckets. Um, I think I might stuff this one so it just brings these up slightly so they sort of sit along the top. But yeah, they are. They're wicker. They're really cool. One mystery one Christmas and keep one shell not a problem Claire is there a certain color that you're hoping for let me get these open for you so that's the Christmas and the mystery so let's go down Okay, so if we open up the mystery oyster first for you, Claire, and like I say, is there a certain colour you're hoping for? You have a lighter double pop there. You're hoping for blues. Okay, so this is your mystery oyster. Now I can see straight away that you are twinning and you're twinning with pinkle twins there now pinkle is a mix between a pink and a purple and there's no more in that one so let me just clean up these shells for you so we're going to keep this one um just because just in case the other one doesn't hold up because sometimes the shells can break so when people ask to keep the shells i do normally try to do the first one uh, if there's more than one oyster, just so then it gives us that extra chance in case it breaks. But first oyster has given you twinning pinkles. Now these visually do look slightly different sizes here 
if I pop them in the sand for you. So you've got a slightly larger, slightly smaller pinkle. Like I say, pinkle is a mix between the pink and the purple pearls. So there they are in the sand. And then moving on to your Christmas oyster. Now this one actually does have a little bit of a crack in him. So this shell may fall apart. Quite a nice deep pop there. Oh wow, okay, so in here there's your mother of pearl. And I can see straight away in here you are twinning for a second time and you wanted blues and you are twinning with bright icy blues my lovely now again these do look slightly too tonal in color just slight lighter and darker areas as you go around the pearls so you've got twinning pinkles and twinning two tonal icy blues now I'm just going to show you around these blues just so you can see the two tonal colours here. So there they are in the sand to start with. And then blue number one, just slightly lighter and brighter there. And again blue number two, there we go. Now what do you think to these? Claire, if you're happy uh, with these colours that's perfect. If you're not happy, we can swap them for you. So it's going to be up to you what you would like to do. The visually smaller Pinkle is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6. He's a 6.5. And Pinkle number 2 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7. He's a 7.5. So they are measuring at different sizes there as well. Blue number 1 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5. He's an 8. And blue number two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, not a 7.5. He is an eight. Claire, you're happy with those? Perfect. Now let me wrap up these shells for you. Thank you for the donations with the other shells there. And I'm glad you're happy with the colours. Can you get the blues on studs and lobster fittings on the pinkles? You can indeed. Oh, let me just add some staples into my... Okay, so um, studs with the blues and lobster with the others not a problem that invoice will get sent across for you tomorrow and it will go to the email address that's on the order form claire okay uh, which means you do then get a naughty or nice card as well so again i'm just going to mix these up for you you're over the moon no i'm glad you're happy my lovely okay so your naughty or nice card is this one here so with your naughty or nice card if i turn him around you have a naughty there my lovely that does mean that there's nothing on the back of that one but i do hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives and i've wrapped up your shelves and that's all safe up there for you as well corner Aaron with my t-shirt <laughs> it does say under the mistletoe this is actually a new I try to get a new Christmas top each um, year and as you guys see I've got a nice collection now um, of different Christmas tops so yeah this is my new one this year it's quite which means I actually got two because this one I, I feel is very black <laughs> with a little bit of Christmas and my other one is very Christmas at the like it's got lots going on so yeah so I'm just really talkative mood to mood today I do apologize to put them on studs so if you've already got the pearls out of the, from the oyster opening Lorna it would be an additional 15 pound to put them on simple stud earrings on the website with the oyster openings it would be 25 pound 
Claire, you're very, very welcome. Right, up next today is Tony Martin. Tony, are you here? I love it when I'm in a talkative mood. Can you even hear a word I say? I find that when I'm in a talkative mood, I go really, really fast. Not that, um, actually, obviously, for to do a live video, I'm really just talking to a camera. I know you guys are here and you're responding and you're interacting with me and that's brilliant. Thank you for that. But initially, it is just me talking to a camera. So I have to be um, in a, a some sort of mood to be able to do so because it is quite hard, actually, sometimes to talk to a camera without that person to reply um yeah I, it was very bizarre when i first started it's something i had to really get my head around because i'm actually if you met me face to face i'm actually quite a shy person which is really weird because obviously i'm on live at the moment to 274 people so but to, to meet me in face to face i don't i'd be able to say hello and i don't know if i'd be able to say anything else so yeah, then it's really weird for me to then be in a talkative mood. When I'm in these moods, Aaron loves me. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> he's like, hello. Yes. Because Aaron talks for a living, doesn't he? So he's just like, oh, I'm just, right, I need to stop. <laughs> I'm going off on a massive tangent. Um, oh, bless you guys. Thank you. I'm looking for Tony Martin. Tony, are you here? You get used to it, at least. So like I say, when I first started, it's it's a very bizarre feeling because even just recording myself um, and watching that back or listening to that back, I'm like, oh no, I don't like it. So to actually then go live, it is very strange. It, it really is. Um, but I am used to it now. I don't think I'll ever be truly 100% comfortable. I don't know if you notice, but as I go to move around the room, I do put you on a different screen and that's just because of I'm uncomfortable with myself. If, you, if I'm going again off on a tangent. La 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 la. <laughs> I am comfortable with you guys. It's ever so strange, but maybe because you guys then make me feel comfortable because you guys, obviously, you are interacting with me. So that, that does make me feel comfortable. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Christopher. Right, last call for Tony then. If not, we'll move on. So I'm looking for Tony Martin. Tony, if you're here, please type I'm invisible. It'll bring your comment forward so I can see you. And like I say, if anyone sees Tony, please comment on her comments because that will bring it forward so I can see. Okay, so I, I haven't seen her. So I'm just going to pop it this to the side then. And again, if she comes on, we can add her in, but it will be to the end of the order list again there. So up next today is Amy Hullin. Amy, are you here? Oh, Sophie, that's very kind of you to say. Bless you, thank you. Thank you, Candice. Yeah, the, it just, I think I'm not gonna stop doing that though. The camera will go to a different screen. <laughs> I'm gonna get to move around. It's just, yeah. I'm looking for Amy, Hello, Amy. Perfect. Amy, you have two goodie bags today. Which two colours would you like? So you've got red, blue and silver. Now you can have two of the same colours. You can have two different colours. So it's up to you. Blue and red. Okay, so a blue and a red. 
perfect i'm just going to move these forward uh, and let's go down to have a look at what's inside so if we do your blue one first okay so with your blue bag here you have a bracelet now if i turn this around have a look here now i can never remember with the bracelets um the names of them if, when they're on the website or not and that's just because with our bracelets i try to, because that's such i mean i'm going to toot my own horn here but that's such good quality these bracelets um hopefully if anyone's had one just let me know what if you think that that's true uh, but yeah so i do try to get to as many different styles as i can so of course this is 925 silver it is 7.5 inches long and if you have a look at the links here um so you have this like twist link so it's got a link and a link and in the center it's almost like it's twisted then you've got this textured link which is where i would put the pearls you could put the pearls on these ones but i would put it on this textured one in between which would then actually spread the pearls or the charms out slightly but like i say if you do like a fuller bracelet you can fill the other ones in as well they are um the same they are they do they, they will fit uh, like a lobster fitting or a, a jump ring or something on like that an extension amy yep yeah, that's not a problem so i hope you're happy with that one so i'm just writing down about the extension now with um that one that will come with one picky pearl which we'll do in a moment i will do your second bag and then we'll do the picky pearls together at the end okay so that was the blue bag. Moving on for your red bag. And in here you have a pendant. Now this is a cage pendant. So with your cage pendant, that does mean you're gonna be able to swap and change the pearls around inside this cage pendant. So this one is the moon and stars cage pendant. So let me just see if I can show you on this side you've got the moon now the moon does have a little face there it is reflecting back the camera though so it's got like a darker shadow on his face but it does have a face and he's looking across to that star now in the center is going to be where your pearl is going to be shining through so you're going to be able to change the pearls around on the inside like i said and then your pearl shine through in between the moon and the stars so Amy, I hope you're happy with that one as well. And that one also comes with one picky pearl, which means together you get two. Okay, so let me dive in here for you. Thank you guys for, for um, agreeing with the bracelets there. They do, they really are. I really love them. <laughs> <laughs> which is why I can never remember the names it's just because I do try to get lots of different styles in and different yeah different combinations and bits okay so let's go down so Amy we've got two picky pearls here let's go through the colors as I'll need to know from each set which two pearls you would like and then once we've chosen all of your pearls you can let me know which ones you'd like where okay so if i hold this up for you you can see your top row you have to pick between the cabri purple bright hot pink and apple green so i'll need to know which two you would like to keep from the top row that's cabri purple bright hot pink and a apple green and then the second row is the uh, candy floss pink light purple and sunshine yellow so i'll need to know which two of those you'd like to keep candy floss pink purple and sunshine yellow you'd like to keep the pink and green perfect i'll move the purple over here so the pink and green are yours which from the bottom row two would you like to keep as well what we're doing at the moment, it's called the goodie bags, Sophie. So the goodie bags come with the, you pick which colour bag, the jewellery's inside and then you get a picky pearl. But you can also buy the picky pearls on their own as well. 
you'd like pink and yellow there. Okay, so Amy, I'm going to measure your four pearls. These are the four you've got now. I'll need to know which one you'd like on the bracelet or you don't have to have one on the bracelet if you don't want to. That's completely up to you. And then with your cage pendant, if you prefer me to pop one in to start with, let me know. Um, if not, like I say, you can then change the colours around at home as and when you would like to. So if I run these through the board, the apple green is not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. The hot pink is not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, not an 8, he's an 8.5. The sunshine yellow is not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. And the candy floss pink is not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he is an 8 let me bring you back up hot pink in the cage tonight is the last night for the goodie bags yes they'll be going off the website after the live today hot pink on the cage and the rest on the bracelet um, I will invoice you for the additional two pearls on the bracelet, Amy, if that's okay. Uh, do you have a preference in which order you would like them in or don't you mind? So you've got the green, the yellow and the candy floss pink. Do you have a preference in order? If, if you don't have a preference, I'll, I can pop them in order, but I do, I pick. No, that's absolutely fine. I've got that down for you then. Um, the invoice for that, like I said, will get sent through tomorrow for you and it will go to the email address that's on the order form. Let's do your naughty or nice cards. So again, I'm just going to mix these. Is there a different items in each bag? No. So the colours don't mean anything, Sophie. And um, they've all got a mix of all the jewellery in them. It's just going to be potluck. Um, and you guys have got that choice. So you're still sort of choosing, if you like. You're still sort of choosing which one you would like. Okay, so Amy, your naughty or nice card. You have a nice card. You have one pound off your next order so you'll get an email from me tomorrow to the email address that's on the order form with a one pound off code so if you would like to order again in the future you'll have that one pound off code that you can use there amy i hope you'll be happy with that my lovely and happy with everything once it arrives and i've popped that safe up there for you Perfect, Amy. Um, okay, and up next today is Kathy Rax. Kathy, are you here? Kathy, hello my lovely. Kathy, you have three oysters all together. Uh, what three oysters would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? Thank you, Suzanne. I didn't see that one there. I believe I've shushed them. Guys, don't click on any links. Um, hopefully I've shushed them there. Uh, so if you go into chains on the website, there is photos of them, Sophie. It's just a different style of chain. Kathy, you would like to have Christmas oysters and donate your shells. Now, is there certain colours that you're hoping for? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two and three. Let me get these open. One, two, and three. Okay, so let's go down. We'll start Christmas Oyster number one. You have a lighter pop there. Oh, and you've got two runaways. If I move my hand, did you see that there? So they both popped out as soon as he got open. They ran that way. And Kathy, there's your mother of pearl. And I can see that you have another two, which means you are quadding. Now this combination has come out a few times from our Christmas oysters here. You've got two snow whites and two icy blues. Now your icy blues, they do look like they're slightly different uh, shades to each other, but look at these. Let me just pop them in here. So you are quadding with two snow whites and two icy blues. Okay, then moving on to oyster number two. Again, this is your Christmas oyster. So you have a lighter pop there. And in here, there is your mother of pearl. And I can see in here you are twinning. And you are twinning with darker berry twins there. So again, I'm just having a squidge. There's no more in that one. So you're twinning with darker berry twins. Let me pop these in the sand for you. And then moving on to your last oyster, which again is your Christmas oyster. Oh, double pop with that one. Okay, and in here, there is your mother of pearl. Now I can see a brighter berry red there. Let me just have a squidge and in here. So Jane, our website is pearlswithbrecon.com. You'll be able to find the link in the description above, which will show all of our products and prices on there. Kathy, your last oyster has given you a single berry red, which I believe is slightly brighter than your twins there. So what do you think to these? And then if you're happy with these, which colours would you like wear? Now, of course, if you're not happy with these, I can swap them. And then again, just let me know which ones of those you'd like wear. Or if you prefer to have more time to think about it, you can take a screenshot of these and then just email me which ones you'd like wear. So it's completely up to you, Kathy, my lovely. If I run them through the board for you, Icy Blue is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he's an 8. Icy Blue number 2 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. Your Snow White's not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. Your Snow White number 2 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. So there's slightly different sizes there. The red twin number 1 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. Red twin number 2 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. So they're the same size there. And then the single red is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5. He's a 7 as well. What do you think to those, Cathy?
Snow White on the pendant and swap one white and one blue for gold and gold on the earrings. Okay. Oh, look at those. Have a look, little look at these for me. Just let me know if you're happy with these. So, oh, squeaky, squeaky. So if I hold this up for you, we're going to have white on the pendant. And I do have your twins here, so I'm just going to move them over. White on the pendant. And if you're happy with those golds, gold on the earrings. Is that all correct, my lovely? I'm just going to bring you up again here so I can write that down. So um, white and then gold. See, I knew I had more gold, so I just needed to pop them in my pot. <laughs> Basically, I because I make obviously the jewellery and I um, do lots of different things, which is all on the website, the pearls do get, of course, they get moved around. Um, so it's when it comes to the lives, they're not always next to me, but I knew I had taken some golds out. So I think it was, I was making a bracelet. Those are perfect, Kathy. No, you're very, very welcome. I'm glad you're happy with them. If I just pop them on here and then I'm going to do your naughty or nice card as well. So naughty or nice card. I'll just dive these in here. Okay, so, oh, turn that around. It's the wrong way around there. Your naughty or nice card, Kathy, And you have a naughty card there. That does mean that there's nothing on the back of that one. But I do hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. Thank you ever so much for the donations with your shells. And that's safe up there for you. I will just say, all the naughty or nice cards, they don't go, they will go back in again, but they don't go in again till the next live. So they're not sort of, um, so that there, there is, yeah, a really nice selection in there. It's just, yeah, so there's not, I mean, they could go back again because I mix them. It doesn't really matter but I do keep them out just so then we get the different card for a different person, if that makes sense. So I'm just printing this order off. If anybody would like to order, I'm just printing the last order off for the evening. We've had quite a few people who haven't been here. So if anyone who did order um, and has come back and is now on the live, do let me know so I can add you back in just because I wouldn't want to end the live and then sort of have somebody here if I haven't seen them. Naughty. Oh, bless you, Kathy. Okay, so up next then is uh, Linda Southam. Linda, are you here? Linda, hello. Linda, you have one opening altogether. What type of oyster would you like? And would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? You love to order a goodie bag, but you don't wear earrings. Oh, bless you, Yvette. I completely understand. Um, and I suppose it is luck of the draw of that one. I can't say to swap them out if they come out because I haven't done it to anybody else. So I wouldn't be able to do it to you. So I hope you'd understand. Um, but I am sorry about that. Christmas one of course you can and you would love a gold okay so fingers crossed for a gold then let's get this open and let's go down thank you bub thank you bub okay so in here you have a light pop there Oh, 
okay so linda there's your mother of pearl and if i move this around so you can see i can see three pearls there let me squidge these one two oh that one popped out there one two and three and let me just have a squidge in here okay so there's no more in that one linda you have triples uh which means let me go through these ones for you now their gold has not come out however if you would like to swap as you know you can do so so just let me know what you think you would like to do you've got a snow white a silver bells and a icy blue Let me run these through the board for you. Swap the icy blue for a gold, of course you can. Your Snow White is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven. Silver Bells is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven. And the icy blue is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven as well. So let me just grab a gold for you. And we also have clip-on earrings as well. So some of the earrings we do, I can actually just convert them. So if they're hookback earrings, I'll be able to convert them into clip-on earrings. So there is that option. I'm afraid if they're stud earrings, I won't always be able to convert them across. Um, but the hookback earrings, I, I can make them into the clip-on earrings. Again, with 925 silver fittings. Um, so there is that option. Can you get them all on hoops? Of course you can, Linda. Can you just confirm if you're happy with that gold there? That is very Christmassy, gold, silver and white. I love that. <laughs> Sorry, I was just admiring the colours there. Let me pop that in there. And then if I put these in here, then I'll write that down for you. So all on hoop fittings. Now that invoice for the hoop fittings will get sent, sorry, will get sent across tomorrow for you and that will go to the email address that's on the order form, okay. And I'm glad you're happy with the colours. You also have a naughty or nice card as well. Oh, this way round. So your naughty or nice card, my lovely. You have a nice card and you have an extra oyster opening. Can you guys see that? It says extra oyster opening at the bottom. So Linda, if you're happy to do so, we'll do that now for you. Um, yeah, so with your extra oyster opening, what type of oyster would you like? And would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? Or the picky pearl. The picky pearl's available as well. But no, no, you get to pick what would you like, Linda, if you're happy to do that now. Another Christmas, perfect. Okay, so let's dive in here for you and get him open. And let's go back down again. So your Christmas oyster. Oh, quite a nice deep pop there. And in here, there is your mother of pearl. And I can see that you're twinning. One and two, you're twinning with darker pearls there. And there's no more in that one. I 
okay so if I dry this up for you as well now these are darker silver purple twins so they are two tonal I'm just going to quickly see if I can get them on the board so I can show you them on the board if not I'll hold them around with the please focus Okay, so I'm going to show you them on, on the with the with this and the sand. So they are silver with a purple overtone. So if I just go around, so you can see, so this is pearl number one. So I'm hoping you'll be yeah, you can you can see the purple this way. You, so you can see that as we go around. And then number two again is the same. So he's silver base, but he does have that purple to him there. Now again, Linda, what do you think to these? If you're happy with these, that's perfect. Oh, if you're not happy, I can swap them for you. So silver purple number one's not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven. He's a 7.5. Silver purple number two's not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven. He's a 7.5 as well. So they're the same size there. Linda, what do you think to those? They're beautiful. Can you just confirm for me? Are you happy to keep those, my lovely? I'm just going to pop them in here for you. Invoice for studs on those. Yep, that's not a problem. Uh, so that will all be on the same invoice and that will get sent through tomorrow for you, Linda. Okay, so I do hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives and that's all safe up there for you, my lovely. Um, Carol, the night of the monthly charm deal. That's December the 1st, isn't it? Normally I say to email, however, I can make a note here because I've got the order list open so if I just put uh, wants to be at the end of the list and then closer to the time I'll move you down the list so Carol that's not a problem I've done that for you you don't need to email me um, just because I've got it open I can make that note there uh, Linda no you're very very welcome um, so just to say, on December the 1st, normally our monthly charm deals are on the first Wednesday of each month. That just so happens that December the 1st is the first Wednesday, so we will be doing our Charm Dip Live that night. Um, but obviously it's going to be, normally it's sort of a week in, isn't it? But it's going to be the 1st of December. So that is on the website now, if you would like to join us and just let you know it is... <laughs> <laughs> to me it seems slightly earlier even though it is correct right I do believe that's the end of the order list there I haven't seen anyone else who's missed that turn come back on again and then let me just refresh this just to be sure so I will say goodie bags will be going off the website now I'll go on and take them off in a moment um, and Black Friday deals will go live tomorrow so you can see Black Friday deals now about of, with what's available and they'll be available for you to purchase from tomorrow morning which is very exciting uh, so yeah that is going to be the end of the order list there so thank you everybody for joining and we're going to be live again on Tuesday evening from around 8 p.m have a brilliant Monday morning and I'll see you soon take care bye